Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will actually see uh, which are the regions and zones uh, that are been provided uh, within your GCP project. Uh, in, in, in my last video, uh, I have already explained uh, the concept of the regions and zone, why we need uh, those regions, why we need zone, what is the you know advantage that we get out of it. So if you have not watched uh, that tutorial, please go ahead and watch that so that this particular tutorial we, you will be able to understand uh, uh, the concept in more detailed way okay so let's try to understand uh, various regions and zones that are present uh, within your gcp project so as you can see this is the gcp uh, google cloud uh, console and currently i am uh, in the uh, cloud storage product so let's try to understand uh, the regions and zones by uh, trying to create one gcp bucket so let's name it uh, something like let's say region zone one we'll just click continue and if you just click just to understand that which are the regions and zones that are uh, been uh, given here then this is what you can see so basically if you see there are mainly three regions uh, gcp gives you uh, one is americas which is like United States, then you have Asia Pacific, which is like uh, the Asia uh, side of the countries and locations that you get, and then the Europe, right? And if you see, like, let's take example of Asia Pacific, and if you see this, the regions uh, within the Asia uh, Pacific have been uh, basically divided into multiple zones, right? So if you see this Asia East 1, Asia East 2, uh, which is Hong Kong and if you just come down then you will have the in south region of Asia which is uh, Mumbai and Delhi right so basically this is how uh, the entire regions have been uh, given and if you uh, just click on these right then again so basically this is the region and under every region there are three zones that are available like for example if you consider Asia South 1 which is uh, pointing to the Mumbai region then under that you will be having three sub zones like asia south one hyphen a asia south one hyphen b and asia south c right so uh, here is here is how how it goes basically like uh, let me delete this so let's say if we are talking about mumbai as a region okay. mumbai region how gcp understand is this particular region as Asia South one right as you can see this is Asia South one and Asia South one has three zones how GCP defines those Asia South one a Asia south 1b and asia south 1c so these are the three zones that are available uh, in mumbai region or in asia south 1 region and on the same lines basically every region has these three zones a b c and that's where your application actual cluster exists and actual application gets deployed okay so I hope you able to correlate uh, 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 with the concept now that uh, how how are the regions have been you know uh, uh, you know uh, how, how are the regions have been placed within GCP uh, how the zone is being done and with this particular thing you will be able to understand uh, how the regions and zones are being you know correlated with each other okay thanks for watching this uh, uh, video guys and I will see you in the next one thank you